Uh, the reason they're here today is that uh, occasionally bad circumstances can turn into good law, and they're the face of the victims, of the invisible people who are not here to speak for themselves. Uh, this is called the Unborn Victims Bill, Ethan's Law, but I can tell you that this law represents every victim of every mother and father who have simultaneously lost a daughter and a grandchild due to a murderer or a thug in our state. So happy. Good morning to all of you. Uh, I want to thank you for taking time to come out to hear our story. Uh, as he stated, I'm Effie Steele. I'm a resident of Durham, North Carolina, and uh, I'm here in support of the Unborn Victims of Violence Act, the Ethan Law. My daughter, Ebony Robinson, was nine months pregnant. She just turned 21 years old. Was nine months pregnant with my grandson, Elijah, when she was murdered three years ago uh, by her best friend's dad. It was a senseless, useless murder, and it has changed the life, my life and the life of my family, our friends, and our community forever. Ebony had a lot to contribute to society, and we were robbed of that by the premeditated murder of a cold and uh, deliberate murderer. We never got to find out what Elijah would have contributed to this world. He could have been a president, he could have been a doctor, a teacher, and he, most of all, he would have been a contributing citizen of North Carolina. I felt betrayed and robbed when the murderer of Ebony and Elijah was not charged with double homicide and was not made to pay for the life of my grandson. And I was just flabbergasted when they told me that he would not be charged with uh, Elijah's murder because I just knew there were laws on the books that would protect every citizen of North Carolina. Um, he should have been charged and punished for two lives that he took and not just one. Uh, and you've heard the statistics on North Carolina being one of the few states in the southeast that has not passed this uh, <coughs> bill to protect our unborn babies. I think we need to, it's time we rectify this and stand up for every citizen of North Carolina. There are two lives that are involved when a pregnant woman is murdered. It should be a separate punishment to anyone who commits an assault or homicide against a pregnant woman for the baby. It's wrong to kill, kill a life at any stage. It is able to survive outside the mother. It is a murder, a murder of a separate human being and is valued and should be protected by the same laws in place for the mother. This is a human being, human life issue, not a political or any special interest group issue. It's about a baby's right to protection and justice under our law. I'm just a mother, a grandmother, would have been a grandmother, I don't have any more grandchildren, that was my only grandchild, and a very concerned citizen of North Carolina, desperately wanting laws in place to protect unborn victims of violence, nothing more and nothing less. If you were in my place and your grandchild was murdered, you would want justice for him or her too, and I know you would. But those of you that have children, when your child was conceived, you started thinking of it as a child, you start preparing for his or her arrival. You told everyone he or she was coming and when you expected him or her to arrive. You didn't wait until you were four months, six months, or the baby was born to say it was a baby. This is for those people who say or are hung up on when a baby is a baby. There are more laws on the books to protect, to protect dogs, chickens, and other animals and property than there is for a new human life, the life of a baby. I want justice for Elijah and the lives of all the other murdered babies, and every resident of North Carolina should too. There should be justice for Elijah Robinson, Ethan Nelson, Rylan Young, Baby Averroa, Baby Girl Lauterbach, and all the other babies murdered with their mothers. In every family, we have a rep we have reputable things happen and things that we don't want mentioned. No matter how good our family performs, how much money we have, or how famous we are, it only takes one member <coughs> doing something really wrong to bring negative talk about the whole family and threatens the integrity 
and the family's worth. North Carolina, as I stated, is one of the states that does not have an unborn victims uh, law. The unborn victims bill has been looming in the background for more than 12 years. It is time for North Carolina to take a stand for us and pass this unborn victims of violence act Ethan's law now so we, the citizens of North Carolina, can hold our heads up again and be proud instead of being ashamed uh, to be called a North Carolinian that does not protect this unborn uh, baby. The time is now. It is time for North Carolina to do the right thing. It is the just thing to do. It is what you must do for the citizens of this great state. Thank you. Now I'll introduce uh, Kevin Blaine. Uh, Kevin is the uh, grandfather of Ethan. And Kevin, if you remember the point, just you would like to come up. Thank you. My name's Kevin Blaine. I'm the father of Jenna Nielsen and grandfather of Ethan Nielsen. And um, after Effie just spoke, it's hard to follow that up. She said it all. I mean, uh, how can you not have a law in this state? does not protect our unborn children. I mean, as a parent, you protect your children as much as you can, and certainly as a grandparent, you want to see your grandchildren grow up. But, you know, a little over three years ago, that was taken away from us. And after that happened, it's very hard for me to believe that I live in a state that doesn't protect their unborn children. How, how, how can you not do that? Um, I just found it appalling that I live in a state that just doesn't care. Um, so it's time to pass this bill. Our unborn children deserve it. Our mothers deserve it. Uh, the people of this state deserve a law that protects everyone, including the unborn. And it's time that we stand up. It's time we pass this law. It's a common sense law. I mean, how can you not think that way? Uh, and it's just time that it's done, and it needs to be done this year. So I hope you all agree with what we're trying to do here and get this law passed. And I appreciate and I'm honored that you have named this law after my grandson. Uh, thank you very much. Um, so let's do this this time. Let's listen to the constituents of this state. Let's listen to our lawmakers. Let's finally, finally talk about this and agree upon something and get this bill passed.